ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chevrolet. We're glad to be about to see us here at the LA Auto Show. Now folks, we brought you a little sports car since 1953, and over the course of the last 67 years, we've taken this car through a lot of changes. In our first generation, we started off as a simple roadster. By the end of the seventh generation, we were a full-blown supercar. But the 2020 Stingray, this is the biggest change we've ever put the car through because we took the engine out of the front and we put it in the middle of the car. Now that's obviously going to change a number of things for you in the way the car performs, the way it handles, but it's also still very much a Corvette. So you still have this sculpted aerodynamic exterior. It actually channels air around and through the body, so all of those vents are functional and they actually add to our cooling. We are still built on an aluminum frame, but we've added some carbon fiber elements to it this time around, so it's about 10% stiffer. And by moving the engine to the middle of the vehicle, we put about 60% of the weight over the rear axle, so you're going to have a lot better traction, especially coming off the line. Now, like I said, it is available as both a coupe and a convertible. So the coupe has a target panel right here that pops out and stores in the back. It weighs about 15 pounds. It's real easy to do, but you're going to manually remove it. Whereas this is a power folding hardtop convertible. So this will go up and down. It speeds up to 30 miles an hour, so you don't need to pull over to do it. The whole action takes a little over 15 seconds, so it's real fast. It kind of feels like you're riding inside a transformer while it happens. And because it sits right in there over the engine, you get to keep all of your cargo space. Which means we can fit two full bags of golf clubs in the back and a rollerboard suitcase in the front. So the car is ready to take a road trip with you. Now we were also able to give you more room inside by moving the engine behind the seats. We've opened up your leg room in there. And you still have that very driver-oriented cockpit. It's designed off of a fighter jet, so you'll find it's very comfortable in there. We also have more options on this Corvette than we've ever had before. So 12 exterior colors, you're looking at rapid blue up here. Six interior colors, you can two-tone most of them. You can change the stitching, the seat belts, the center caps on the wheels. You can even change the little Stingray logo sitting on the back of the trunk there. But there's a very important thing that only comes one way, and that is the powertrain. So we're using our LT2 engine in here. It is a naturally aspirated small block V8. It is running 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, so it still very much sounds like a Corvette. It's going to be paired up with an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. Now, we co-developed it with Tremec. It's a first for us. It's normally going to run as an automatic, but if you want to be in more direct control of the car, it has a manual mode built in for you, so you've got to use the paddle shifters on the wheel. Now, those two in combination are going to send you 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, and they give us a top speed of 194 miles per hour. And obviously, this is a Corvette, so we know you're going to want to have some fun when you're driving it. So you have a drive mode selector built into the car. It changes a number of things in the way the car looks, the way it feels, and even the way it sounds. So, for instance, if you get the magnetic ride control system, it's basically a liquid shock. We're on our fourth generation now. It reads the road a thousand times a second and readjusts. So we can change your suspension from feeling silky smooth all the way up to a track-ready stiffness just by turning a dial. We can change the sound of the exhaust with the dual-mode exhaust system. You can make it louder or quieter so you don't wake the neighbors up when you come home late at night. And we can bring a lap timer up in your driver information center when you head out to the track. And then if you are going to the track, you've also got the performance data recorder. So there's a camera right up here that's going to take video of what you see while you're driving. And then we're also going to record your acceleration, braking, and cornering so you can study them later at home and improve your lap times the next time you head out. Now finally, for all my current Corvette owners, you told us you were scraping the front end of your car on speed bumps and steep driveways. Well, we've got you covered. We can now raise the front of the car by about two inches, and it memorizes up to a thousand different locations based on your GPS position. Now what that means for you is if you save a speed bump the day you drive this car home from the dealer's lot, five years later, come back to the same speed bump, the car will know where it is and automatically raise the front end for you. Now folks, this is not just a new Corvette. This is a full-on game changer because all that stuff that I told you this car is capable of, it starts at a base price of $59,995 for the coupe, $67,500 for the convertible. We are in a class by ourselves with that kind of performance at that kind of price. And even better, you only have a couple months to wait before you're going to see these on the road. We will start delivering them in the first quarter of 2020. 
So folks, if you are interested in getting a hold of the new Stingray, make sure you stick around and talk to one of us. Anybody here at Chevrolet can get you started on that process. If you just have questions, my name is Anne. We also have Shannon nearby. We are here to answer those questions for you, so let us know how we can help. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day here at the LA Auto Show, and welcome to Chevrolet. distribution with rear bias, directing more power to the rear wheels. You're going to get standard dry stop for higher G-forces. It's direct injected, variable belt timing, active fuel management, and is the most powerful production Corvette Stingray ever. Hi, 